Oh, hello, 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 and welcome to episode 245 of Prog Review, that's it. Been a long time. And today, if you haven't read your description or your title, I'm talking about Argus by Wishbone Ash. Not Argos, the popular chain of catalogue retail shop where you remember you used to go and nick the little blue pens no just me I'm talking about Argus the third studio album from Wishbone Ash released on the 28th of April 1972 um, yeah it's one of those albums that um, you know, I've been meaning to get around to for a long 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 time so I was very grateful when this was donated via the wish list because it allowed me to fill in that bit of missing knowledge and um, yeah I mean Wishbone Ash, no, I'm not familiar with them no, but I'll be honest this is the first time I've come across them uh, not a band that I've been particularly drawn to and um, this album yeah, it was, it was quite yeah, quite different to listen to it opens with Time Was which is a, it begins very nice and acoustic. I thought, oh, oh I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this a lot. Um, but then something, something goes wrong. You can smell it. Wait a minute. I'm going. What's that smell? It's the blues. I can smell. I can smell the blues. That's the problem with, with a lot of this. Is they do venture into. The blues, but yeah, it starts off like I said with a very nice laid back track called Time Was, and then it goes off into very blues driven pieces. And a, and a lot of the a lot of the music on here is very similar. Uh, Sometime World again follows the same pattern. You know, it's, it's again, it's it's got a very familiar vibe to it. Um, even though I've not heard it before, it just felt very familiar to me. And uh, very, very accessible. Again, if you like a certain kind of guitar music, you, you're going to like this. Um, then, third track, Blowing Free. It's about a baked bean eating championship, I believe. It's not, it's not, I'm kidding. Uh, it's about a lady's hair. We all, well, we all had hair once, you know. Um, and again, the the songs tend to f um, for um, they seem to follow a, a familiar kind of pattern and structure. And what's really noticeable is the use of twin guitars. Yes, indeed. Um, the Andy Powell and Ted Turner they they do this twin guitar thing, and. Um, I think they've kind of they've, they've they've inspired a lot of people like Thin Lizzy and Iron Maiden even you know you, you know when you get those those twin guitar melody lines going I think you can probably trace it back to to this record and to this band again if you're a Alex has, has decided to oh that was Alex the Wonder Dog huffing a puff in there. Um, and I've lost, I've lost me blooming, that's me train of thought. Um, if you're a guitarist or you like guitar music, uh, this is what I found interesting: is to hear the way the the, the 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 guitars worked together. Again, Leaf and Stream and Warrior, you can see why they might be kind of lumped in with um, prog rock because there are certain you know lyrical themes and throw and de throw down the sword is another track. My only criticism is, yeah, it's a bit samey. It is a bit samey. You know, the guitar riffs and the the noodling, the guitar soloing. And don't get me wrong, I like a good guitar solo, but it does all tend to, uh, you know, reek of requiring certain herbal help. Um, but that's not to say it's a bad album, it isn't. I think it's an album very much of its time, very much of its place. But you can see 
how and why it's inspired you know other players. I think it's very, I think it's a very, a very in, uh, in, inspirational record. And I think it's one I'll, I'll be going back to again. Again, I don't think it's you know it's going to be my most favourite album in the world, but it's certainly it's certainly worth checking out. This is the of course this is the deluxe edition. Deluxe, woo, released in nineteen, uh, not nineteen seventy-two. We know that. No, no, no. This was released in two thousand and seven on the old Universal Music uh, label. See, in the old days, you that you'd have a slipcase like that with deluxe on it. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, Emerson Lake and Palmer. Oh, slipcase. Um, but then they put these little bits of tape, and I find it so fucking cheap. I really do. Um, but yeah, you also get three bonus tracks: No Easy Road, which is a B-side, The Pilgrim and the Phoenix, which are two live tracks. And again, they're very much of a muchness. Um, there's a second disc, which is the entire album um, put together from live cuts from Radio One's in concert session, which is which is nice. You can hear the band do do what they do live, which is an added bonus. It's very unusual when you get a whole album recreated live you know usually get like the like the top hits that, that was that was quite a that, that was that was interesting that was interesting the booklet i mean the booklet's really good because it gives you a lot of detail and history of the band i mean again for somebody like myself who didn't know anything about them very educational very 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 educational so again it filled in that filled in that gap and i was very pleased with it for um, i've got a new I've got a new rye i think it was actually a proper He's actually a proper music journalist rather than one of these flyby nights that normally does it. Uh, Mark Powell. Whew. Now there's there's somebody who knows his onions. Um, but yeah, so it's a lovely, lovely little booklet. Really, I should have done an unboxing, but I'm a lazy fucking bastard. I am. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a really nice booklet, and um, yes, yeah, it it rounds off the package. I mean, again, these deluxe packages that Universal did and Island did, you know, that's how they do it. They do a really good job of it. Um, apparently this was the 35th anniversary edition. Who, who'd have thunk it? Um, so, yeah, I mean, again, this is like the seminal album from Wishbone Ash. They've done, they've done many albums. Um, so this is the third studio album they did. I mean, looking at this, it's something like 25 studio albums to, to get through. Um, but, you know, this is probably the one to go to. I mean, in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this... Two and a half Warriors out of five for the album that's two and a half warriors out of five for the album um, but for the package I mean it scores a good four a good four I mean again because they they do you know they do do a good job I mean I haven't got I mean I don't know is it, is it remastered to say yeah remastered from visual tapes got nothing to compare it with but it sounds mighty good especially when you got it out the old stereo pumping pumping on your stereo indeed um, so yeah I mean check them out if you like kind of blues based rock and you want to know where Thin Lizzy came from uh, check out this wouldn't necessarily call I, I mean I wouldn't call it prog I wouldn't call it prog I call it more blues rock it, it's one of, they're one of those unusual bands that kind of fall between two stalls because they're not heavy metal they're not heavy rock they're not they're too they're too light for that and they're too bluesy for prog and you know but that's not to say it's a bad thing you can see where how they fit into the kaleidoscope of rock music you can see how they fit in there um yeah so i mean i, I do recommend it i do recommend you check this one out anyway my name's been darren Rock. i have been talking about argus by Wishbone Ash. That's a goose <laughs> by Wishbone Ash. I'm probably annoying a lot of people by my pronunciation, but you know what? Couldn't give a fanny. Couldn't give a fanny. No, I couldn't. So that's it. <laughs>
um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this uh, return to form, this uh, prog review. Don't worry, there'll be another long one along in a minute. Oh yes, oh yes indeedy. Only one more thing to say. Oh, and you're aching. You've got that aching in your loins for it, haven't you? You're aching. You want that. You want that that that, that tickle to be scratched, don't you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Brush yourselves. Prog on. <laughs>